Are you letting your kids play video games during the school year? I will share what we do. Let's go. Hey folks, I am Jen Then the father from 2Gen Gaming. Jen now, my son, he's off doing his football conditioning, so I am running solo today. Now, before we get started, this video is for parents who do allow their kids to play video games during the school year. Now, I know that there are a lot of parents out there who do not allow their kids to play video games during the school year, or they just don't let them play video games at all. Whatever the case, we respect other parents' decisions in this regard. So, let's get into it. Our son, he's 14. He plays video games a lot. Most of the time, he is either playing with me, or he's playing with a few of his friends that we have already approved of. During the school week, we will permit our son to play about an hour a night, basically right before he goes to bed. And this has provided his homework, and his studying are done. During the weekend, we do not really have a time limit. Um, he usually plays for a few hours at a time and he's not consumed by it. My wife and I keep vigilant, monitoring his grades, even his performances in any of the sports he is involved in. If we see at any time that he has a drop in grades or his performance, is not his best, then we will eliminate the gaming immediately. And we will do what it takes to get him back on track. As soon as he gets back on track, then he can start playing video games again. Our son can also lose gaming privileges should he exhibit inappropriate behavior, like disrespect, dishonesty, or neglect of his other chores. That's it folks, we keep it simple. We are very blessed that we have a son who is very disciplined and has his priorities in check. We continue to support that disposition with our safeguards and our trust in him. We keep an open door should he encounter things he has questions or concerns about. We have an honest dialogue about the pitfalls of any online interactions and keep the lines of communication open. Now, I know that there are a lot of parents out there who may have challenges with their kids for whatever reasons and feel that gaming is not healthy for them. That is totally understandable and we commend those parents who keep a watchful eye on this issue and judge that the situation for themselves. All right, folks, that is it for me. If you're a parent or an adult who takes care of kids, let us know your thoughts on this subject. Maybe share some of your do's and don'ts. Until then, folks, I'm Jen Then. I'm out. This video was brought to you by Family Proud Family Strong.